Have you ever opened the lid of the pent can like this? If yes, you have used a lever. A lever is a simple machine. Levers are most often used to lift heavy things. If you do not use a lever in the case of paint can, you will have to get your fingers under the lid and pull it very hard upward to open it. Before levers were used, boards were hard to move. People tried moving boards by paddling with their hand. They needed a quicker way to move the boat. They tried paddling with long flat sticks called oars. These levers made it easier to move boards faster. A bicycle, piano, windmill all uses levers to help them work correctly. Even the first computer used more than a thousand levers. I will use a hammer to put this nail into the wood. I cannot remove it with my fingers. How can I remove it easily? I will use this claw hammer to remove a nail out of a piece of wood. Lever can multiply force many times. Let us see how with this activity. Let us take this cardboard sheet and place it on the ruler. We will place a plastic container with three coins on the left side. In order to lift these coins up, we will have to apply force here. Instead, I can place three coins here and achieve the same result. Will the result be the same if I place the ruler like this? Now, I need only one coin to lift the load of three coins. Lever helped to multiply force three times. It lets you do tough jobs which you cannot otherwise do with your muscles. A lever also changes the direction of force. A lever has two main parts. First, rod or arm that is free to turn and second steady point for rod to rest or turn upon the steady point is called fulcrum when you use a lever there are two forces in action effort force is the force you use to move the lever the resulting force moves the load or object load or resistance rests on one side of the fulcrum and effort presses on the other side the effort is the force needed to move the resistance. The distance between effort and fulcrum is called effort arm or effort distance. The distance between load and fulcrum is called load arm or load distance. You can change these distances by changing the position of the fulcrum. Anything can be lifted with a lever if it is long enough. With the help of a lever, can you lift an elephant with just one hand? Think about it. Levers are sorted into three classes. The classes are based on the location of fulcrum, load and effort. What is common between these actions? These are levers in action. This is the first class of lever. First class levers have fulcrum situated between load and effort. Scissors are first class levers. When you cut with scissors, you are using two first class levers. Two levers work together around one fulcrum. Same is true while punching holes in paper. Seesaw is a first class lever. Metal tab on the drink can is a first class lever. We can open it in another way. Let us take this key and press it like this. It is a compound machine which uses two levers to do the work. Your elbow works as a first class lever when you lift something up with your hands. Not all first class levers are used to lift things. If fulcrum is in the middle of the lever, it can be used to balance things. With forces on both sides equal, the bar will be at level with the ground. If two players have the same weight, seesaw will balance. Let us place this plastic container. With the help of a needle, we will fix one end of the cardboard strip. I will place 10 coins in the middle. I will have to lift a ruler here in order to lift these coins. This arrangement is an example of a second class lever. Second class levers have a load between fulcrum and effort. 
पेपर स्टेपलर नट क्रैकर आर सेकेंड क्लास लीवर व्हील बैरो इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ सेकेंड क्लास लीवर डोअर इज अ कंपाउंड मशीन विच यूज एज टू सेकेंड क्लास लीवर द फलक्रम इज वेयर द हिंजेस आर लोड इज द वेट ऑफ द डोर यू पुट एफर्ट ऑन द एज ऑफ द डोर टू पुल इट और पुश इट द डोर हैंडल इज अनादर सेकेंड क्लास लीवर फलक्रम ऑफ दिस लीवर इज वेयर द हैंडल टर्न लोड इज द वेट ऑफ द हैंडल योर फुट is an example of a second class lever when you stand on tip toe the joint at the bottom of each toe is fulcrum your weight is the load muscles in your leg gives effort force that lifts your heel we can rearrange our setup i will have to apply force in the middle to move the ball third class levers have effort between load and fulcrum to hit the ball in cricket tennis or score a hockey goal you will need a third class lever the paddle of this canoe is a third class lever bar of the paddle is moved a small distance to make the load move a long way when you use a fishing rod you use your wrist or elbow as fulcrum fish on the end of the rod is the load you put effort on the rod with your hand to lift the fish up when you use shovel to lift soil your body and shovel together becomes a third class lever your elbow now becomes a fulcrum effort is used with the help of hands load is lifted in the same direction as that of effort but with a larger distance levers come to rescue every day your toothbrush is a lever forks and chopsticks are levers too squeezing two levers together can help you to grip things your fingers cannot like roasting this papad jewelers use special tweezers to pick up small diamonds watchmakers use these prongs to handle small items summary levers are machines because they help you do your work they help by changing the direction size and speed of the force you apply there are three classes of levers they differ primarily in the relative points where effort is applied where resistance or load is applied and where fulcrum is located first type of levers have effort and load on the opposite side of the fulcrum second type of levers have load and effort on the same side of the fulcrum but effort is farther from the fulcrum than load both effort and load move in the same direction third type of levers have effort applied on the same side of the fulcrum as the load but the effort is applied between load and fulcrum both move in the same direction assignment 1 find out all types of levers in your bicycle 2 find out all types of levers used in musical instruments challenge An ancient Greek scientist named Archimedes was the first person to explain how levers do work. He said, "Give me a place to stand and I will move the earth." What would have he used for a fulcrum? 